Another rally calling for Governor Phil Murphy to fully allow New Jersey's non-essential businesses to reopen as the spread of the coronavirus slows is scheduled to be held on Monday morning, this time in Point Pleasant Beach. At least two state legislators, including one Democrat, plan to attend the 11 a.m. Freedom March of New Jersey, near the Jersey Shore town still mostly closed boardwalk. Point Pleasant Beach Police said they expected, large crowds, to attend the rally at the Silver Lake parking lot at the intersection of Arnold and Ocean Avenues, about a half block from the town's boardwalk. Non-essential businesses can now offer curbside pickup after Murphy, a Democrat, lifted restrictions earlier this month that had kept them closed since late March. Murphy has had widespread support for his steps to slow the coronavirus outbreak in the state, according to statewide polls earlier this month. Assemblyman Jamel Holloway, D. Union, and Senator Joseph Panacchio, R. Morris, confirmed over the weekend that they'll be at the rally to show their support for the protesters. Two similar rallies were held in Trenton in the past month. Each drew hundreds of protesters. Murphy said more businesses could be allowed to reopen in a matter of weeks with limitations. Restaurants and bars that are limited to takeout and delivery could be permitted to have outdoor seating for dining when those restrictions are lifted, he said. New Jersey has the second most coronavirus cases and deaths in the United States after New York. As of Sunday, the coronavirus outbreak has killed 11,133 residents with 154,154 confirmed positive tests. New Jersey's 71 hospitals reported 2,755 patients with confirmed or suspected coronavirus cases as of Sunday night, down 66% from the peak in hospitalizations on April 14, when 8,084 patients were being treated. The state had 719 patients in critical or intensive care, with 540 on ventilators, as of Sunday night. Those all are the lowest numbers since the State Department of Health began publicly reporting the hospital information on April 4. Coronavirus Resources, Live Map Tracker, Newsletter, Homepage. Jersey Shore Banner Plains Troll NJ and PA. Governors as beaches open from coronavirus closures, on Sunday in the Wildwoods, a few Banner Plain ads went political, apparently over the reopening of most Jersey Shore beaches from months-long coronavirus restrictions. One aimed at Governor Phil Murphy said, Murphy's mom voted for Guadano. Murphy ran against Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano in 2017. And another said, Tom Wolf likes to color, an apparent reference to Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf's color-coded reopening plan. NJ could reopen child day care, sooner than later, from coronavirus closures. Murphy says, child day care centers could reopen, sooner than later, in New Jersey as the state continues to roll back restrictions ordered to slow the coronavirus pandemic, Murphy said Sunday. Day care centers have remained closed since April 1 except for those that solely serve the kids of essential workers. Murphy said during an interview on CNN Sunday morning that New Jersey's reopening strategy needs to include day care centers to give parents support as the economy reopens and more people return to work. Wildwood Motel owner flouts rules, rents out rooms. I know I made a mistake in hindsight. The Mango Motel and the Blue Diamond Motel welcomed guests Friday night for the start of the Memorial Day weekend, the owner said, even though Wildwood isn't allowing any short-stay rentals until May 26. The owner said he received multiple summonses and could face the loss of his mercantile license. Online college isn't worth $15,000? Class action suit against Rutgers seeks refunds. A student's father has brought a class action lawsuit against Rutgers University, seeking refunds for tuition, fees and room and board after the school moved classes online to cope with the coronavirus pandemic. The suit, filed May 20 in Middlesex County Superior Court, accuses the university of breach of contract, unjust enrichment and conversion for continuing to reap the financial benefit of millions of dollars from students. House Democrats want to give you another $1,200 stimulus check. Trump's willing to consider it. That new $1,200 per person stimulus check that House Democrats want to send you. President Donald Trump's senior economic advisor, Kevin Hassett, said he's willing to talk about the measure, designed to jumpstart an economy significantly weakened by the coronavirus. 
depending on the state of the economy, it's something that I guess we would consider, Hassett said Sunday on CNN's State of the Union. Worldwide cases, at least 5.24 million have been infected in 188 countries with about 345,300 deaths as of 6.30 a.m. Monday, according to the Center for Systems Science and Engineering at Johns Hopkins University. More than 2.17 million have recovered, the center reports. U.S. cases, nearly 98,000 of the about 1.64 million infected in the U.S. have died of the virus, according to the center. Our journalism needs your support. Please subscribe today to NJ.com. NJ Advance Media staff writers Matt Arco, Jonathan D. Salant, Noah Cohen, Karen Price-Muller and Chris Franklin contributed to this report.